hunt here for the wildlife. It's now October and I'm thinking why not have some flowers around this pond? This size of pond is now rare, you cannot find it in the uh, wherever they sell this kind of pond stuff. It's tiny, at the same time it has a good depth. And it's beautiful, it fits in our corner of our orchard. So, I may just try to make way for planting some bulbs here. I've already bought some, bought some bulbs here and uh, I will go to clear around it. Just push back a little bit this uh, wooden path uh, decorative stuff and uh, make a little bit of way for planting the bulbs. Let's see what can I do. As you can see now I have cleared around the pond. The rocks including that big piece of quartz from Scotland placed here along the wood logs and now I'm going to dig around here and plant the bulbs. Okay, what I will do, I've dug a little hole. I'll put a few bunches of the uh, bulbs that I have. What I have here is a tulip sherbet blend. These are kind of purple pink. I have some uh, saffron crocos. I have tulips purple blend, I have red blend, I have daffodil, Diablo and iris, lion king, will be nice around the pond, I have tulips, uh, tulipa, and these are from Netherland, it's a gift from Netherland, thank you to Zainab, from Amsterdam, and this is the mixed daffodil bulbs. And so I just try, what I, the trick for planting bulb is that don't uh, make a row or anything like that. Put them in a bunch, they will add more beauty to your garden than anything else. I will do it now. Okay, now I've opened one of the packs of the daffodils. They're very good quality, large. I got them from the Morrisons for three pounds. So that is around yeah, I think this is around 50 or something. And uh, the thing is that when you plant them, after you put the bulbs in the soil, which should be the same height over it, some soil, it's better to add on the soil fish blood and bone, a bone meal, anything that has bone in it. If we provide them with the phosphate, and what phosphate does, is encourages rooting, good rooting in the in the plant, and that's what you want. They will have a good root, and immediately you will have a good start for your bulbs. So I'm going now to plant them all enough in this hole that I've dug. Yeah. I plant around uh, eight in this hole and uh, we will see how it is does. I add now a soil on top of it. Or well, let me add the bone meal around it now. Yeah, because practically the gardening season for summer and spring is finished now. Everything you buy is on a discount. So fish and blood and bone, you can easily get it for <laughs> for a discount, many places now they sell that. So I added one bunch there, it will give me a beautiful bunch of the um, flowers coming out. I will dig a little bit more here and I plant all of them. When I've dug it, I will show you what I'm doing. Yeah, I've now densely planted the bulbs, 10 centimeter or less, around the pond.
And now I give them uh, lots of bone meal to help them to grow healthy. Added lots of bone meal, which includes uh, fish, blood, and bone. And uh, now I cover them with the soil. Uh, I will first cover them with a thin amount of soil. Then I will put some plants, some flowers that I already have. So in the meantime, until they grow, I will have something that can give us some beauty. Cover them. That's the end if you want just to plant the bulbs. You add the soil, you cover them, you can water them after this and uh, that is done. However, I want to plant some flowers here and I will bring them here and plant. As I mentioned, uh, autumn is a time that many nurseries actually lose hope of selling many of the products so they give them at a discount. This uh, primroses from Morrison's are 50p and these lovely uh, pansies one pound all of that tray uh, which is around I think eight plants and more here so these two only cost me two pound cheaper than growing <laughs> from, from seed so I'm going to plant them around here until the bulbs come up I will have the beauty of this uh, to look at. I will dig a hole and just plant them in into the hole. Now I have planted the bulbs and on top of them pitch, um, primrose and viola, viola and some pansy. The large ones are pansy. And now I'm going to water them. I water them thoroughly. So the water goes to the depth of the soil. And we will have a beautiful winter pond. Winter is not the end of the garden. It's just another season. It can be a beginning. And for this pond, this was a beginning, having flower around it. Something which was overdue for a long time. Beautiful. Now the pond is back to the way it was, with the exception that it has now some flowers, primrose and viola and pansy. And in the winter and spring, it will have some tulips, uh, iris. Um, Crocos, saffron crocos, and uh, different kind of bulbs. The pond is full of life. These are beautiful. This is Crown Prince and those are the Turk turbans. Aren't they beautiful? Another variety of giant pumpkin that Jacob is growing. 
He's uh, from South uh, India in Kerala. This is a giant pumpkin. Put your hand on this it. This is please. a marrow, which I think is a marrow, but anyway, it looks like a, more like a winter squash. Okay, but how to harvest uh, summer or winter squash? Okay, this is the stem. This is where you have to cut it. If you cut it from okay, right, another courgette adding to the courgette pile. Of course, added this one also. What on earth is this? This is a pumpkin. Uh -huh. This is all the harvest that we had today. We cleared everything. This is beautiful. The scene that you every gardener likes. Our hedgehog, although it is a stony, never moves. He has an apple. And he has a good apple.